Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to our sneakers. If I look sunburnt, it's because I am. I went to the beach yesterday and I got burnt as hell on my face. And it hurts so bad to talk right now. But, you know, I had to make a video for you guys. It's been like, what, three days? And I do apologize for missing three days of making videos. The thing is, I had a test Wednesday, so I had Tuesday to study. And then I had to take the test Wednesday. And it is midday, so I couldn't even record and make a video for you guys that day or upload it. So I'm here today making a video for you guys. And before I start, I do want to make a huge announcement. So there's something new I want to bring to this channel starting July. I know this channel is super small, but I know a bunch of you are super loyal. So I figured I'd do this for you guys. And basically, what it is, is every month, I want to do a giveaway. I want it to be a sneaker product. It could be a pair of sneakers. It could be a shoe cleaner. It could be crap protect. It could be any of that. I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. It's just me doing it out of my own will for you guys. But in order to be part of the giveaway, you do have to be fan of the day. If you guys don't know how to be fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification for this channel, and also comment notification squad in the comments once a video is released. And one of the first comments will be fan of the day for the next video. So that being said, the people in the giveaway will be the fans of the day. So there will be about 20 people each month competing for the giveaway since I only do upload Monday through Friday every single a week and if i happen to miss a day for any reason there will be two fans of the day for the next video or three fans of the day depending on how many videos i miss which that's not my goal i just want to keep it one fan of the day so i actually keep pushing myself to make a video every single day for you guys that being said guys i hope you guys enjoy what i'm doing anyways without further ado let's get on with the review starting off with the box of the yeezy zebras you do have your normal 350 v2 box 350 on the top boost on the side not on this side though or the back i mean on the back it just says yeezy boost and also made by adidas and also adidas.com and on the front it says the same thing except it's covered with the size tag and i did get them in size eight i usually am a size seven and a half but now i just get size eight and everything i just go have a size up to be safe i did get these for a price of 220 dollars and after tax came around to like 233 not too bad for a pair of yeezys that's really good i mean it's retail retail for any yeezys is really good except the yeezy power phases those are just trash apparently the style code for this shoe is cp9654 the color is white core black and red and then it says it in that other language that i really don't know what it is and then it says originals and originals made in china yeah, 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 whatever. You guys probably care less about the box, so let's just get on with the shoes. I was able to pick these pairs up from Champs, Foot Locker, and Foot Action. So yes, I was able to pick up three pairs. I was lucky enough to get them through the reservation app. And I told you guys so many times how to get them. I do it for almost every release. I tell you guys how to get the shoes. And if you guys don't want to listen to me, that's fine. But if you guys see my success rate, I do succeed every single release with a pair of V2s. So I'm just saying maybe you guys should try what I try. Starting off with the upper, we do have that zebra print, of course. You do have the black and white stripes. And honestly, I feel like that adds so much detail to the shoe. And then you do have your white stripe right here that does change colors when you put the black light to it which i will show you guys later on in the video you do have the sply 350 in red and rumor has it that it stands for saint pablo loves you you do have your all white laces with no different pattern on them you do have the stitching going down the middle which i'm pretty sure it glows when you put the light to it moving on to the heel tab it is all white then you do have the black stitching going across I wish they would have made it red. I feel like it would have made the shoe pop a little bit more. Staying back here on the heel, you do have the three Adidas stripes that are reflective, but they're not supposed to glow with this light, which I will show you guys in a minute. You do have padding on the side here for more comfort in your foot. Moving on to the insole, we do have a regular white insole. And on the bottom, it does have that bluish tint like most V2s do that are white. There's really not much down to see here. It's just a normal Yeezy 350 bottom. And then on top, you do have Adidas and then Yeezy, and then you do have your tree foil right there. Moving on to the midsole, you do have like this nice creamy white midsole. And then on the back here, it is yellow. And I've seen pictures from the first version that released in this version this pair is a little bit more yellow the first version was actually a lot more whiter well not a lot more but i guess in the camera just shows a little bit wider. and the bottom it is a lot more yellow compared to the midsole as you guys can see you guys can look it looks like it's actually starting to yellow but it's not that's just how the sole is and then you do have these weird stripes just going all the way throughout the bottom and then you do have your little windows the little boost windows and then you do have your huge boost window where you're supposed to be able to see all these little stripes and dots and lines and all that whatever you guys do to legit check them down here i usually just know the feel of them and then i can tell if they're real or not a lot of people argue this but they're supposed to say that these little circles are supposed to be like one two three four five six seven of them but some people have like four more or two extra more i don't know some pairs are different than others i don't know why i wish i could tell you guys but unfortunately i don't know and then moving down a little lower you do have the word boost on the heel and that's really all there is to the shoe there's really not much else to say it is a super beautiful shoe it's a pretty simple shoe but this one looks so much complex because all the lines and stuff i did promise you guys those black light shots so here they are all right, so I'm basically talking in the dark right now, but you guys can see the line that says SPLY 350 is the line that's supposed to glow, not the one below it. And then the lines out here, like some spots in between the zebra stripes are supposed to glow as well. The line going down the middle, like all the stitching right there is supposed to glow as well, as you guys can see. Let me get a closer shot for you guys. The laces aren't supposed to glow. The stitching around the ankle is supposed to glow. The sti that little square stitch right there is supposed to glow as well. Like I said, the lines on the middle glow and then that little box on the heel tab you guys can see it it glows as well and on the outside of course it's not gonna be any different on the inside of the shoe the three stripes are not supposed to glow they're supposed to be dark when you put a black light to it and what's around it is gonna glow moving to the midsole the midsole does have that glow as you guys can see and if you guys look at the boost in the bottom it does glow as well kind of not too much it's not supposed to be like a full glow or it's not supposed to be patchy 
it's just supposed to have like a nice surface textured glow kind of hard to explain that part but the bottom overall it doesn't glow as much as the midsole like the midsole glows more than the actually outsole like if you guys look there it's purple but if you look there it's blue and usually what's blue it's what's glowing all right guys that's pretty much it for the review if you guys want a video on how to legit tech these shoes let me know in the comments down below and i will definitely make a video if i get enough comments saying that actually no if we get a good amount of thumbs up i don't know what a good amount of thumbs up is because i never really ask you guys but if this video gets a good amount of thumbs up then i'll definitely make a legit check video on the yeezy zebras anyways before i show you guys on feet shots i don't want to give a shout out to the fan of the day today because i don't want that person to be pissed they couldn't enter the giveaway for the month of july so tomorrow there will be a fan of the day and from there on out those people will be the people to enter the giveaway so i hope you guys don't get mad at me for not giving a shout out for the fan of the day today anyways guys enjoy these on feet shots make sure you stay well. Arsene, you signing out.